Hi again everyone. So I'm back with kind of a different kind of video. Um, this is a haul video, but it is things that I picked up this past weekend at an antique and toy show that my sister and I went to. So um, to share a little bit about myself, and I don't think I've mentioned this, but maybe I have. Um, I'm a really big Disney fanatic. Hence, in the background, maybe you've noticed Mickey and Minnie um, as pilgrims for Thanksgiving. Um, and when I say Disney, I really am into um, vintage Disneyland items, things that say Disneyland on them. And I've branched out a little bit and I'm collecting other vintage Disney things. Um, and I do have a collection, a Disneyland collection, that I'm gonna show in a, in a video, hopefully sometime soon. But I thought I would just give you um, a little peek into my, it's a crazy addiction, but I do love Disneyland. Um, it's my favorite place, and it brings back a lot of good memories of when I was a kid. So anyways, let me just show you some of the things that I got. And I'm not going to really be able to tell you prices on some of the stuff because I don't really remember. Um, but, I mean, none of this stuff was super expensive. Um, so anyways, I'll start with this cute little glass jar. Um, I don't know if you're... It's like an old, like, candy jar, I think. I think I looked and it was maybe from like the 80s or something. So it's not super old or anything. But I really liked it. It's got Mickey. And then if you turn it, it's got Minnie. And I just like that it's glass. And um, it needs to be cleaned. It still has leftover candy sprinkles or something in it. But I just thought that was really, really cute. And it used to be that everything I bought had to say Disneyland on it somewhere. This doesn't say Disneyland. Um, although I'm sure that it was probably purchased like... Disneyland or one of the parks, um, like in the candy store or whatever. But I just thought it was really, really cute because it's glass. It's got Mickey and Minnie, and so I picked that up. And then I also got this Tinkerbell wand. Glows in the dark for hours. So it's this wand. And back in the day, this this did come from the parks. Um, it was $1.98 back in the day. $1.98. And I got this for 50% off. I remember it was on a gal's 50% off table. So I think it was like $4.50. So I got that. Apparently the gal told me that it still works, but I haven't tried to... I mean, it's not like it's battery operated. I guess if I put it in a dark closet, we could see if it, if it glowed. But I got that. So I thought that was cute. And then I also got this... Um, it says 1950, Dumbo Tiny Golden Book. It was only $3, and I just thought it was cute because um, it's Dumbo, and it, it's just a little small, tiny book. So, I don't know. I don't even know if it's really from the 50s. I didn't even really take it out of the plastic or anything. But it was 29 cents originally. Or maybe it's book number 29. There's a little 29 up there. Not really sure. Dumbo's Magic Feather. Wow. Anyways, it's just like a little picture book, little Dumbo story. I just thought it was really, really cute. So, again, it doesn't say Disneyland, but it was cute. It was three bucks. So I got that. And then I also got these um, Disneyland playing cards. So, and this does say Disneyland, and obviously they were $5. Well, some of the stuff has prices on them. So, little playing cards that say Disneyland, little plastic case. So, this is the stuff that I used to mostly just collect, the stuff that said Disneyland on it. But it's been harder and harder to find the stuff that says Disneyland. Um, so, I've had to branch out just a little bit. So, I got those. And then I also got these um, Disneyland, these are from 1986. I'm not even really sure what they are, but um, it says 1986 Gift Giver. And I don't know if you used to put maybe like, um, I don't know, like a gift card or maybe Disney dollars or something in there. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? It's like, a, they're like scratch off tickets. Yeah, I didn't even realize that until right now. It says, scratch off the square below to see the gift you've won. 
So that must have been some sort of a promotion that they gave out. Little scratch tickets and then you won something. So, and I liked them because they said, you know, they have Disneyland on them and I like that they're all colorful and everything. And I can't remember how much these were. I want to say like a couple bucks or something. So I got those. And then I also got um, these 35th anniversary dream machine. I'm not even sure what they are. Um, ticket things. Hold on. Um, these are Disneyland. I, I got a couple of these. They're cigar bands that say Disneyland. Nothing really exciting about that. I just thought they were cool because they said Disneyland and they're like cigar bands. I bought two of those. One's for my sister, actually. Um, and then I put them in here to keep them safe. But these were like, I'm not even really sure what these are either. You know, for being such a Disney fanatic, you'd think I would know. But they're, it just says 35th Anniversary Dream Machine. Maybe you stuck these in for a prize also, because it says, if Dream Machine appears in the prize box, proceed to the area in front of the castle where Dream Machine is giving away, yeah, I think you could win things like Delta Airline tickets, that's cool, U.S. Savings Bonds, um, cars, things like that. So that must have been a promotion that they did. So it's just a whole bunch of these little ones and they all have a different character on them. So I got a whole, and I think that I paid three bucks for all of these. But I really liked them because they said Disneyland on them and I like that they have all the different characters on them. And I don't know how many are here. Not really sure. I think maybe 20 or something. So I got these to add to my collection. Um, and then I also got this Disneyland guide. It's from the spring of 1976. So I thought this was cool because it's kind of old. Disneyland, and it's just like a little guidebook. You open it up and it tells you kind of like what's going on. Adventures and attractions. Um, wow, so you could get a coupon for like 10 cents, 25 cents, 40 cents back in the 70s. So yeah, it tells you what, um, how much it costs to ride each of the rides or what kind of ticket it would take. That's actually really cool. I haven't really looked at a lot of this stuff um, in depth because I just got it this weekend. And then um, Adventureland. So it's just a little guidebook about um, the different areas in Disneyland. So I'm really happy that I got this. I really like that. And then did I say I think I paid $5 for this? It was $5. So nothing that I got was super expensive. I guess if you add it all up, maybe it'll add up to a pretty penny, but <clears throat> like I said, it's getting harder and harder to find this stuff. Maybe there's a lot of us that collect it, so that's why it's harder. Then I got this Mickey's Toontown sticker. It was 10 cents. So I got that. I got this really cool tin um, like plate tray. It says um, America on Parade, Disneyland, and it's... Um, dated 1776. I mean, obviously, it's not from 1776, but maybe it was in 1976 when they when they did did this or something. And I think it came from Disneyland. It looks like it had a Disneyland sticker there at some time. So I got that. That's fun. And then I think one of my favorite things that I got was this Disneyland and it's got Tinkerbell on it and hopefully I can get the $5 like sticker off of it. But it's, it's, it's vintage. It's got um, Tinkerbell on it. It says Disneyland has the castle. And it's a cute little coin purse. So you open it up and it's a little coin purse. I love this. Um, I really do. I just hope I can get the sticker off. I wish that they hadn't put the sticker on it. So that was really cute and a neat find. And then um, I also got, oh, this is, this is from Avon actually. But the reason I bought it was it's actually like a, it's a perfume bottle, but it's from, it's like the It's a Small World collection. And these kind of, this does kind of look like the, the dolls that you see in the ride, It's a Small World. So I got her and she's full of perfume. She's totally full. I don't think she's ever been used. Um, yep, yeah, Avon Small World collection. And she was $4.50. I was hoping I could find more, but I didn't see any more out there, so... Give me something to look at when I'm like at the thrift stores when I go garage sailing. And then I got these really cool um, napkins that have Tinkerbell on them. They're white linen napkins. And they have Tinkerbell, a gold Tinkerbell down here in the corner. 
I really like these. These are from like the Walt Disney Gallery apparently. And originally they were $5.50 each. They still have the tags on them. And I got the whole pack, I think there's four napkins, for $5. So that was a good deal. Um, another crazy fact about me, my, a couple of my best friends, we like to get together and have tea at each other's houses. So I was thinking I would use these as my napkins um, when I have them over for tea. So I might do that. Or I don't know, since they still have the tags on them, I might save them like this and just put them in my collection. So we'll see. But my original thought was I would use them as the little napkins for when we have tea. And then I also got this really cool old Walt Disney Mickey Mouse Club uh, postcard. This might have been the most expensive thing I bought. And I just thought it was really cool because it's black and white and it's in really great condition. Um, I love that Mickey is kind of in the front there. It's a cartoon Mickey, but I think it was like $12.50. No, I talked her down to $10. That's right. I talked her down to $10. But that is a lot for me to, to spend on like a little postcard. But I did like it. It's black and white. It looks really vintage. And I don't have anything Mickey Mouse Club. So I got that. And then I also got this old Disneyland. I paid $2 for it. Uh, ashtray. It's like silver. Probably silver plated or something. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit. And hopefully I don't ruin it. It was $2. But it's pretty tarnished and stuff. So I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. I guess the tarnished look makes it look even older, but it's got the castle in the middle, and then it's got some of the different lands, like um, Tomorrowland, Advent okay, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, and I can't even read the top one. I'm not really sure what the top one is. So I got that, and then I also got um, I got this because Jiminy Cricket is my favorite character. I love Jiminy Cricket. And I don't even know what this is. It's just a little piece of cardboard. It says Walt Disney's Pinocchio. It's got Pinocchio, the Blue Fairy, and Jiminy Cricket. And I paid $4 for this, which is kind of a lot for a little cardboard. But like I said, he is my favorite character. He's really hard to find. And so I got him for my collection. And then I also found another Pinocchio. Actually, my sister found it for me. It's a little Pinocchio, um, and it was 10 cents. A little Pinocchio he's sitting in like a Christmas sack like Santa's sack or something looks like he's sitting on the candy cane or something it's just a little plastic you know cute little thing to sit but I really liked him I mean don't you love Pinocchio look how cute he is okay and then I also got this um, thermos it says Disney Express this the next three things I'm going to show you it was at a t it was at a booth that if you bought three things it was just ten dollars so I really wanted to find three things to make it just $10. So I picked out this thermos. Um, again, it has Pinocchio on it. That was one of the reasons why I liked it. But also they're all in the train and there's all the different characters. And they're in this train. And maybe someday I'll find the lunchbox that goes with this. Because a lot of times you can find the lunchbox, but you can't get the thermos. Well, now I've got the thermos and no lunchbox. But anyways, it's just cute. It has all the characters. They're all riding the Disneyland Express. So it's by Aladdin, aren't they all? So I got that, and then the other thing I got was this yo-yo, um, and it looks kind of old. I don't know if it is or not, but it's got Mickey on it, so I thought that was cute. An old Mickey yo-yo, nothing on the back. And then the other thing I got that I really, really liked was this Disney, at that same place, 3 for 10, was this Disneyland um, mug, and it says Disneyland on it, and it's Pirates of the Caribbean. It's going to be kind of hard to see. Just a glass mug. So I'm going to put that in my collection. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It's one of my favorites. Peter Pan is my absolute favorite ride there, just for nostalgia reasons from when I was a kid. Um, but I think one of my second and third favorites, okay, I got a lot actually. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, love Splash Mountain, and I love the Haunted Mansion. Love the Haunted Mansion. Okay, so then I also got this postcard, and it's, um, somebody has used it. But it's dated 1969, so... It's just at the castle. I thought that was cool because it's like from 1969. It's been written on, which is okay. I mean, it doesn't ruin it for me. I don't mind. At least now I know that it's from 1969, so that's cool. And then I also bought these Peter Pan, um, because I told you it's my favorite ride, um, lithographs. 
and looks like there's just one in here and I and it's this one right here Peter Pan he's flying over Neverland with Wendy and the boys now I can't even think of all their names Wendy John I cannot think of the little one's name. Okay, so I got that. And then the last thing I have to show you, because this is getting long and I think we're wrapping it up. And I don't really know why I bought this. Um, it would have gone up on a wall, probably in a nursery, but it's just this like um, Casey Jr. train. So here's part of it. It's got Dumbo. I love that it's got the Mad Hatter in it. See the Mad Hatter? Right there on the end. And Dumbo. And then it's got Pinocchio and Mickey. And I feel like maybe there should be at least one more piece. Like maybe it was three pieces and I only got two. But I think this was only a couple bucks and that's why I bought it because it was like two bucks or something. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I don't know if I'm going to put it up on a wall somewhere down by my Disney collection or what I'm going to do. But anyways, so that is that for those things. So I know it's a little weird. Um, it's pretty much the only thing I really collect anymore. I used to collect a lot of other stuff, but now I pretty much just collect the Disney stuff because it makes me feel good. And like I said, I will show you a video of my collection. Um, hopefully I'll get all of this stuff in the collection. It's grown so big though that I need more, like another showcase. I like, I need more places to display. it. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll just see you in the next one. See ya.